And today I'm getting out of my hoodie. But <laughs> everything started when I decided not to go to college. I was so lost about what to choose as a major and which university to go to. So that's when I took the decision to take a gap year and take the time to figure it out, live different experiences, and mainly learn new skills. But that's a whole other story that I will make a video about, so make sure to ask me about it in the comments. So I started researching a lot on what to do during this gap year and write the goals I wanted to accomplish. While researching, I found a website called Au Pair World. I had heard of it before, but never really got into with. So what exactly is an au pair? An au pair is a young person between the ages of 18 and 30, it could be a girl or a boy, who travels to a foreign country for a defined period of time to live with a host family. As an au pair, you take on a role as a member of the family and help your host family with childcare. Now, let's talk housework. Some families require some light housework, which normally involves tasks connected with the children. For example, washing dishes, changing diapers, or keeping the kids' room clean. I personally chose a family that doesn't require some housework because I'm kind of against the idea so it's better to check before with the family and in return for your help you receive free accommodation food and a small amount of pocket money which is an average of 70 euros per week depending on the country you go to first you create your own profile and reflect more about yourself then you can choose the countries where you'd like to go to and choose the date range and it will show you the families that matches what you're looking for. Then you have the option to chat with them. And here is the profile of the family I lived with. They explain everything about their living situation, pocket money, etc. So I graduated from high school in Lebanon and then the adventure began. So today marks day one of my gap year. I'm at the airport in Lebanon. I'm excited. I took a plane from Lebanon to Spain to the Basque country part in a town called Saraus. Saraus is first and foremost a beach holiday destination. The town is home to the longest beach in the Spanish Basque country and also to famous waves that attract surfers from all around the world. Now, you may be wondering why I chose to go to Spain and why I decided to do au pair in the first place. So my main goal was first of all to learn Spanish and also to be able to go to Mexico later this year. But unfortunately, I ended up being in the Basque part of Spain, living with a Basque family. And they were speaking Euskera together, which is the Basque language. And the thing is, I discovered all of this when I got there. So yeah, it wasn't the best uh, situation. So it was really hard for me to learn on my own. And the parents, they were speaking to me in French and in English, which is a big mistake I regret doing now. But in some situations outside the house, to be able to speak with people in restaurants, shops, or any other places, I quickly learned the basic Spanish, so this really helped. But of course, it wasn't always easy. I just spent the last 20 minutes trying to explain to a guy that I want to recharge my internet. Now, about my second goal, it was to save up a bit of money to be able to pay my travel expenses. Even though the pocket money was really a small amount of money, but if we consider the fact that they offer me food and accommodation, it's a really fair price. And my third and final goal was to learn how to surf, knowing that the family lived right in front of one of the most popular beaches to surf in Europe. It was one of my dreams since I was a kid and I even wrote it in my bucket list. So yes, I did learn how to surf and fell in love with it. And this made me realize how important it is to just try new things and to get out of your comfort zone on a regular basis. I also learned to keep working, trying, learning and practicing new skills that connect you with nature. A question I got asked a lot was how did I convince my parents about all of this? First of all, taking a gap year in general wasn't even an option for my father in the beginning but my mom was okay with it but then my father saw how lost I was about college and I showed him that it's normal not to know what to do with my future at 18 also I was really convinced about my choices I started researching showing them different options and that's when he started being more open about the subject and finally accepted being an au pair seemed like a good idea for them and when I explained my goals they were very enthusiastic of course they would worry about the family I would be living with but I made sure to ask the host family the right questions ask some pictures and a lot of details but of course there's there's always gonna be this small risk we all have to take at some point and that's part of the adventure now let me introduce you to the family that's the mother she's a yoga teacher and has her own healthy food restaurant and that's the father the longboard champion of spain he's also a surfboard sharper and created his own board brand and here comes the adorable maori she was 11 months old when i started taking care of her now how was my relationship with them honestly i was super lucky that i found this specific family i heard many other au pairs had some bad experiences with the parents that's why 
why I suggest you ask as many questions as you can on everything you need to know before choosing the family. And of course, it helps to choose a family that carries your same values. It helps you feel at ease. And if you ever end up in a bad situation with the parent, or if you feel like leaving, you should just listen to your intuition because what's most important at the end is that you feel comfortable and happy. So yes, I had a really good relationship with the parents since the beginning. They were super welcoming, very open-minded, very caring, and always asking if my needs were met. We had really good moments and lots of exchanges about different subjects. Now, what did I learn about this experience? First of all, it was a very cultural exchange where I learned a lot about the Spanish and specifically the Basque culture. I learned more about their food, their traditions, the language they speak, the people and their habits. Second of all, it was a new experience for me to get used to another family's lifestyle, their habits, their routine and their daily schedule. Also, of course, I learned so much on what it's really like to be a parent. The struggles, the sleepless nights, the happy and funny moments and mainly how to take care of a baby. And having to spend that much time with Maori taught me so much on being more patient, having the creativity to make her laugh or stop crying, to make her play different games because babies at this age tend to get bored but also distracted very easily. So I had to deal with both all the time. I also saw the world through the eyes of an 11 month baby which was super interesting. I started appreciating the smallest details and noticing stuff I never paid attention to. Especially at this age, babies need a lot of attention. They want to touch, eat and discover everything they see. She even started walking two months after I first came and I realized how in such a small period of time babies learn and grow so much every day. I already babysat before several times in my life and I'm the third of a family of six children so I'm kind of used to taking care of children but I was a bit worried because taking care of a baby on my own was totally new to me. Another point I want to highlight is that working as an au pair gets you out of your comfort zone. At some point you would have to take care of the baby early in the morning or in the afternoon when you don't have the patience to do anything or you're super tired or you just don't want to talk to anyone or you're simply not in the mood to share any meal with anyone. Also, other days unexpected stuff happen and your free time becomes shorter than usual. And all of this happens for sure. We all go through some moments like this, but you learn how to deal with it and express yourself or accept situation you're not comfortable in. So yes, not everything was sunshine and rainbows. There are moments that were hard for me, where I started getting homesick, I felt lonely, where I was demotivated, where it was hard for me to build a routine, where I didn't even have the patience to take care of a baby and make her play. On other days, I felt the need to hang out or go party with people my age which wasn't easy to find when I didn't speak well the language. And these kinds of stuff happen and they happen to everyone at some point. And I think it's important to find yourself in these kinds of situations in life because it teaches you a lot and you learn how to deal with them. And that's when you start growing and adapting yourself to all these changes. And now I'm back in Lebanon. I finished my time as an au pair and finished three months of my gap year. So I wanted to reflect on this experience and I'm going to be making another video about a day in my life as an au pair. So if you have any questions about it, make sure to ask me in the comments. This was a really great experience that taught me a lot about myself and others. And I hope it can encourage you to take steps and follow your intuition. Now I still have the rest of my gap year ahead of me and I'm going to be documenting everything and making videos about it. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to follow my Instagram for daily updates. Thanks for watching and subscribe <laughs>